Well, guys, we're back on Star Wars Commander. Yes, we are. Now, we have a lot of gold. We don't have a lot of alloy. We need to upgrade the rest of our walls. Um, another cool thing that is kind of similar to Clash is that we have these this debris lying around, right? We got these rocks, and we have this junk. We got small junk. We got large junk. I'm sure we have medium junk somewhere. I don't know. You got my junk? Can I get my junk? Get, quit, quit pulling your junk out. Anyways, so... Since we have no use for our credits right now, other than training our troops, uh, we can actually clear some of the small junk. And I'm not sure if we even get if we get uh, crystals from it. So we've got two droids, so we're gonna uh, clear a bunch here, and uh, we'll see if we get credits for it. So we got 380 credits or crystals. Sorry, not credits. Yes, so we do get uh, crystals from clearing some of this junk out. So that's good, man. It's good stuff. You pull your junk out, you clean it up, and uh, you get some rewards for it. Um, <laughs> how, how better, how better can it be, right? How good can you get it? So, we're going to continue on here. We've got, uh, still our two droids. May as well finish up some of these. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, these builds, right? So, I've got some, uh, some of these guys being built. The ATSTs. So, I'm going to get rid of these guys, okay? And my village was raided again. Man, it's get, my village gets raided all the time. What the hell? All right, and then we're going to train these guys up. So we're going to train as many po as of these guys as possible because right now we have our mixed army. So the idea is I'm going to use all of my um, all of my uh, uh, stormtroopers in the next attack. Okay, so that we can clear them out and we can get those other troops in there uh, and do a full on attack with those guys. Uh, we still have a little bit more junk. The, those are ten thousand. That's ten thousand to get rid of that uh, the large junk. So we have one more medium junk here that we'll get rid of, and then that's all we can do. Uh, okay, wait a minute, except for this one. Okay, so we can't obviously clear out the larger ones. So once this guy's ready with this one, we'll get this. And there we go. Now, as far as uh, number of droids, like, I don't see really a need to have three droids at this point. Uh, you know, once we get to HQ3, I'm sure we're going to be looking for three droids. Um, we're probably going to want three droids. But for now, I think we're fine. So we're just going to continue on with the uh, the chapters here. Chapter two, Under the Twin Sun. So let's see what we got up next. Credits are essential to training troops, buying vehicles, and paying heroes. Have at least two credit markets in your base to complete this mission. Done. Really? Thank you for the free um, mission. Okay, partner, while well, caution is people are searching for the other Merc base, let's talk credits. If we want troops, we gotta pay to keep them equipped and ready to go. We have one credit market already. Obviously, he doesn't realize I already built and upgraded the second one, but but we can support another, so let's build one more. And he's going to want us to go to the shop. No. Hey, Great. <laughs> this, that was almost instantaneous. This will give us the income to keep the troops coming. All right, good stuff. Yes, Under the Twin Suns 5 has been completed. All right, so uh, looks like we can upgrade two more walls. Let's do that. One and a two. All right, and let's go on to the next one. Hello. All right, this is the last mission of Under the Twin Suns. The mercenaries who attacked you have a stronger or a second stronger base. Attack the base. All right, let's do it. Where's this base of theirs? And uh, what additional forces are we going to get? Just the Strix probably, right? Uh, okay, partner, this is going to be a real test. Watch out for that proton mortar. Where? Oh, this mortar right there. Okay. Uh... In the middle of their base. Target it for me, and I'll blast it with a Strix. All right. Sounds good. So we got the Strix here. We're going to blast that puppy right there. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Strix just went to town. So I'm probably not going to use these uh, these guys. I'll use uh, just the Stormtroopers, and we'll bring them in. We'll bring in a bunch of here, and we'll bring in a few here. Uh, well, I want to make sure I use them all, right? So let's bring in a few more here, and then... Alright, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna go to town on this base. Uh, three start, and then uh, hopefully once we get back, we'll have. Um, well, we'll probably have to wait anyway, but uh, we'll train up those other troops and run an attack with those guys. Sweet. Go, stormtroopers! Wow, we didn't even uh, meet up with any resistance. This base isn't so bad. And I, I really don't know why they're attacking these walls. That kind of bugs me a little bit. I think they gotta work on their AI because uh, they can easily go around those walls. And that's going to make it quite interesting when uh, when we start doing multiplayer raids, because uh, we we'll have to figure out exactly how the how this AI works, and and not get our troops freaking, you know, targeting walls that they really don't need to be targeting, right? 
And there we go. Ready for it. Ha! That was fun. Feels great to finally be on the winning side. Good call and joining up, partner. Well, thank you, Saponza. Oh, Pretty awesome, enough. Kosh. See to it that you remember that sentiment, Operative Saponza. The Empire does not tolerate failure lightly. Continue your work on Tatooine. Well, Kosh, man. I want to kick his ass. All right. Good stuff. So we got the uh, three stars going on. That's pretty good. Continue. And uh, we should be able to upgrade a few more walls. Yes, sir. So. Ooh, look at that. So we get ten. We got ten crystals. All right. So the next chapter is the Sacred Waters. That's pretty cool. All right. So uh, we've got 7,394 credits. Uh, this guy takes 9,000 alloy to upgrade, which is really unfortunate. So we're going to upgrade this guy. Uh, these walls here. And we can do a couple more here. All right. And then we're left with, um, what, three walls? Three walls here plus these two. So, yeah. We need another, what, five? Three thousand. We need another three thousand alloy in order to complete our upgrades. Okay, so our troop transports are full. So how many of these troops can they actually hold? Eleven? Okay, so we'll only 11 of those guys. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of these guys because I want to train up. Command failed. The server was unable to execute the command. Please reload and try again. The problem continues. Please, status 1104. The heck is that? <laughs> like I said, the game hasn't even been out for a week yet. So, you know, they're going to be bugs. They've already uh, patched uh, some stuff. I, I, I was having a problem on the weekend. Uh, reloading like loading my base onto my iPhone because this is recording off my iPad and it said it asked me if I wanted to overwrite the existing base or load the one and it wouldn't let me it wouldn't let me so they and then they patched it that same day the same day I was trying to do it yesterday they uh, they patched it so I believe it's fixed now or at least I was able to load it in on my uh, my iPhone okay so we're gonna go with these guys these guys are the speeder bikes and uh, their favorite target is infantry, so they really don't have any other preference uh, other than that. So we're going to go and load up on these guys. Now, um, what do we have? Unit capacity after training. Okay, so we're already at 44. So we're going to have to come back like once we use... See, that's one thing that kind of bothers me. There, is that even being trained? Right? Like, if I click on this guy, it stops. So it doesn't even look like it trains him at all until I have room which is a bit different from clash whereas you know like if you're training dragons um, even though your army camps are full you can still train a dragon it takes 30 minutes you can have that dragon drain uh, uh, that dragon training and then ready for when you actually use some of your army out of your army camps and then it immediately replaces it right okay so that's cool um, so that's what we're gonna do on our next attack uh, and uh, we'll continue our uh, our chapter playthrough here, chapter three, the Sacred Waters. Uh, next episode, we're gonna uh, start fresh on the new chapter and uh, see how far we make it. And uh, hopefully, we'll finish upgrading our walls. And then by the end of the next episode, hopefully, I don't know if it's going to happen, but uh, we'll have nine thousand alloys so we can upgrade our headquarters to level three, and then see what we get then. Right? What happens if we hit upgrade? Does it tell you tell us what we're gonna get? Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, yeah. So we get a mortar. We get more walls. We get uh, more uh, uh, another alloy factory, uh, credit market. Not sure what that building is. Um, and a turret, or sorry, two turrets plus that mortar. So that's pretty cool. We're going to have a lot of cool stuff once we get to HQ3 and uh, we can upgrade some of these other buildings. And, uh, you know, once we get it, you know our shields done we start getting into multiplayer then we'll look at the squad center because i know there's some stuff that we can do there we can uh join a squad squad we can create a squad although it takes ten thousand credits to create it so perhaps we can create a squad um in the next episode because we're gonna have enough credits and we have nothing to spend them on right okay guys so we'll be back hope you guys enjoyed spider out